my main parts are drawing and video, which I'm like the most elaborate in, but I do like to kind of be bad at the practice as well. I think that gives a special energy to, to the results. Especially if you combine it with like um, confidence. And then you <laughs> have like this strange outcome. Well, the person that inspired me the most for all this work is, of course, Tom Cruise. But I do believe that this um, attitude of, of domination and alpha is just a, it's a, an all-encompassing force that we cannot escape. It's just a, like a natural thing. And that's what makes it annoying and that's what also makes it fascinating because it, it just works. It's like a, it's power that he has and that comes in an ugly shape. But like here we sit and we, we laugh at him from my like, fucking studio where it rains through the roof. You know, that's uh, while he's sitting in some golden palace somewhere in, in, on a mountain or something. I will have to turn into Tom Cruise to get to Tom Cruise, it's much like Rambo says in that movie uh, when he has to become a war to fight the war. And that's why I am Tom Cruise. The overachiever is not a real person. It's just uh, the, the whole career drive around. So it's kind of exaggerating it, but everybody has it in themselves. I just find that a really strong thing that is happening right now that everybody is like improving themselves and getting somewhere and climbing the ladder and all these bullshit metaphors. And it's in the end, it's not all that important, but I try to like, I mean, obviously, even if I do like the biggest joke on it is not as funny as the actual thing it is. Like it's difficult to, to exaggerate what is happening there. I don't know why I did it in the first place, but like when I did the first self-improvement videos, what I noticed is that nobody wanted to associate themselves with it because they were afraid people would think that they think that this is made serious and that they actually like it. And that I found interesting, like where, where does this fear come from? Well, at the same time this is like pretty much what people are going for. And I think it is because it's very direct and it puts the finger in the wound a lot of people have of this um, you don't really know how to behave towards success and what should be your stance. I have this feeling like I loathe it at the same time that I really think yeah this stuff is just true so like why not go for it. It's kind of um, it's in between. I don't know myself exactly where I'm going. I always like to stand on uneasy ground drifting along it and I see where it brings me. I don't know. I don't know. I know it works uh, sometimes. <laughs>